Yep, it's been a while. I was on vacation. Probably can't tell because the white lights. I have the tan. We are at the beach. It was pretty great. Anyways, so we're back in suburbia. We're just going to keep the grind going. We're going to build out neighborhoods after neighborhoods after neighborhoods after neighborhoods. It's going to be pretty endless. Pretty great. I'm pretty excited. And once again, my room is super echoey. I forgot to put the blankets up to reduce the echo. So, yeah. Sorry. So this is all filled out. We've pretty much filled out this area too. We had the airport. I guess we could start filling out over here around the airport. Um, I feel like I there's a need to put highways in somewhere in there, which I don't know about that. Don't think about it. But I'll go ahead and just build, and we can always, always redevelop. So. Let's go with a beautiful, ooh, let's do one of these, a national road. Those are great. We're just gonna be building out house after house after house after house. Which I'm, it kind of sucks that I have to use the demand master mod to achieve this but I'm, I'm pretty much forced to, you know? That's just how it works out. Is that too close to the airport? We'll do that. Because the reality of the game is that it is not I guess it's just not tuned for cities larger than like 50,000 or something, I don't know. When the game actively tries to keep you from having more than a certain amount of money, etc. It's kind of annoying. Let's see. I need a school in here. We need a school in both of these neighborhoods because coverage of schools in this game is pitiful. I think we just need a highway. I'm just gonna suck it up and build the big freaking highway across. Should we do four lanes? Nah, I'll just do the three. Same on the other side. There's plenty of room. highways, big money, big problems.
is a ton, a ton of highway. So much highway, holy crap. Right. but it's good enough. Okay, so like five miles of highways have been built. Not too bad of a start. Does this help this traffic situation right now? No, it doesn't, but it will. All right, so we're gonna have this crazy big, we do a two lane highway. It goes parallel next to it, right?
over here. Something, something. We have this side complete. It's also looking like a five way freaking junction, so screw it. All right. So, right here, we're going to actually, we're just going to go over the highway. Say, I would like apologize. Hey, this isn't true, so I said too. Hey, Tranquil Ham, thank you so much for the comments. Sorry, I missed, hopefully, I didn't miss you too much, but uh, it's a shame because I click update information. Let's see. Wait, what? It switches. 
should be fixed now. Anyways, yes, I am into Warhammer 40k uh, fantasy. Not so much. I don't know. I mean, from what I've seen of the fantasy, I really like it. Because it's just that same over-the-top, you know, Warhammer that I've come to love. With 40k, it's just it's fantasy. Um, I also own the fantasy. I don't like that suspension part. But I also uh, own uh, Total War Warhammer. And I actually haven't played it, to be honest. Which I need to, because it looks great. I mean, I know that uh, a ton of 40k is based off of you know, basically what's been built in fantasy. Let's just keep that four lanes. I need to use highways. Yeah, that should that should be fine, right? Right. But yeah, um, I don't know, I've just been so busy. I haven't even been able to, like I made that one video about uh, 40K. And I've been just so busy with life, I have not been able to like brief, like work on it again. However, after this move, I'm gonna have the time and space to actually like paint again, which is gonna be great. And maybe work on, I'll probably play some Total War Warhammer, because I have friends that have played that for oh, like hundreds of hours and they just love it to death. So. Why not me as well? Let's see here. It's pretty cool that you found my Sims 84 stuff. I'm about to stream it after this, maybe? I'm trying to think. Only the Sims 84 videos. Yeah, so YouTube has gotten to a point to where it's basically like uh, you can do one thing and that's all we're going to push and so like SimCity 4 I guess I'm one of the few content creators that still makes it on the regular I mean I know there's a few more out there probably definitely bigger ones but uh, there's not that many anymore that I can occupy let's just leave a stupid bridge and so I guess since I, that gets to tell one of the few people that does it I get promoted in that more whatever reason. Oh. I, mean, I enjoy both games. I don't have a problem with it. Ugh. Gosh, it's ugly. Okay. We can fix it. Yoink. Yoink. Oh, move it tool. Whoever thought of you is a genius. Hell jockey. Sounds familiar. I mean, there used to be a, a huge community of SimCity 4 people. It's just the game's so old now. And it, it doesn't even run on Windows 10 very well. Uh, you know, it's just limited content. Which is kind of why I'm pushing more towards City Skylines a bit. Just because there's a bigger community and the game actually runs on like everything. So. For City Skylines 2 to actually match what SimCity 4 put down in terms of like the detail and the craziness of the game, the scale. Uh, but you know, can't have everything, I guess. Warhammer Fantasy is Vermintide and Vermintide 2. Oof, so good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like City Skylines has like the whole 3D thing is great. It's 
and the water physics and all that kind of stuff. So good. However, it's just the scale is so bad. Like I see, like the maps are tiny, 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 tiny. Like I've taken my own hometown, which is a city of like 30,000 people and put it onto a city, city skylines like region. And it's like, my one little town fills up most of the region. I mean, it's a small town. It's ridiculous. And then even then, if you build like super dense, you still are limited to populations. What the heck is that game? Come on. As you can see, the uh, 3D stuff is not ironed out. Let's see. You know what, that is horrible, but it's gonna have to work. I don't even care anymore. Much but district please. New city, pretty good at scale. I mean I'll give it a look. I'm I'm hungry just for making a mega city, like SimCity 4, you know. I can like I have a region that's 11, 12 million population right now, and I'm just getting started, you know. It, this game that's an unimaginable number. The game heck I don't even have 100,000 people, and the maximum speed is slower than like the normal speed with 1,000 people. I get it, it's like, oh, each agent or whatever, blah, 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 blah. I don't, that shouldn't matter, you know? We have monstrous processors. Uh, we have like crazy game engines, you know? But I think that's just a matter of a version two. Let's fix this piece of crap real quick. Boop. Look, they updated it. You can go there. You can go there. And the traffic simulation in this game is so bad. You're fighting that more than you're fighting the actual just like density of traffic. You see that's the mega cities, but you really have to work for it. That is very, very true. Like, because the way SimCity 4 handles it, I know there's a lot of like, SimCity 4 is just like a giant spreadsheet in a way. Uh, but I mean, it still calculates traffic. You tell each bit of traffic for each intersection, every bit of road in general. I don't know. Somewhere between SimCity 4 and City Skylines, there's like a sweet spot. And where like if you want to track where somebody works, like in SimCity 4, you can basically track where somebody works, right? You click on their little house and you click the little like go to arrow and it shows you where they work. So technically it's pretty much calculating every single person, it's just doing it in a mass scale that lets you build, you know, stupidly large cities as much as you want. Oh my gosh, this track is bad. Let's see. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. everybody getting in this middle lane see I fix traffic and then I go work somewhere else and I come back and it's all messed up again that's a start let's see here what the hell is going on you go here and here. You can go here. Alright. Hmm. Like this game, you spend like towards end game. 80% of your time is spent just trying to fix traffic jams, which it, sure, it's a major part of city planning, but it's not, it is not 80% of it, you know? I mean, it's not 80% because it needs to be 80%, it's 80% because you're fighting the traffic engine, you're fighting <coughs> the faults of the game. Alright, so what the frick is the problem here? 
What is this? There should not be four lane transfers like that at all, ever. Maybe that might work. I don't know. Hmm. Should I build another highway like this? I feel like I did that before. Sadly, they don't send you a thing. Political one. I actually have city state. Uh, yeah, it seems to. It's kind of like a, the old Sim City kind of design, but it used some more politics kind of stuff. There was one Sim City. Sim City Societies. That's probably too trappy of a game. I never played it, but I know it focused a lot more on the political aspects of it. But I don't, I can't vouch for how good it is. Let's see. Un unnecessary power lines. See, I want a city game where you have to not heavily manage like the plump, the power grid and that kind of stuff, but just a little bit more. Like, hey, maybe have high transmission lines going to substations. Um, I mean, ooh, Tropico. Tropico is. Kind of what City Skyline should be in some ways. Uh, but yeah, that's got, it's got, I don't know, Tropico is so good in so many ways, even though it's super small scale. Okay, this is fixed over here, thankfully. And now this is the biggest traffic jam, it looks like. Oh, never mind. This is the biggest traffic jam. So they all want in the left lane, or the, the right lane, excuse me. Let's see, I fixed that. I think it's just merging traffic and this industrial traffic do not mix. concept of just like merging doesn't exist in this game. It just doesn't. So what's this? Oh, I need to, oh crap. I need to use the move it tool and do it. Mm. There we go. Exactly how it should be made. All right, so if we made this a two lane, right? We made this a four lane, right? I don't know why they all want to be in the left lane. I don't understand. Because right here they split up into other lanes anyways. Drive me insane. 
see. Okay. You know what? You're stuck in the same lanes. How about that? This is the worst way to do things. But when you're fighting the game engine itself, or just the, the base design of the game, you've got no choice. There we go. some crap that I don't want to do, but we're going to do it anyways. I really don't want to do this. Okay, not that. The Warring 2, Chaos Aligned Dwarves. I mean... That sounds pretty cool. I mean, dwarves are, you know, tough bastards. And making them chaos align just really makes that an interesting foe. It's, it sounds like a great idea to me. That's another great thing about those games. Like, the mods are great. Right. So, we have pushed our highways apart, for better or worse. Probably for worse. That's right, we're gonna do this. Which I'm probably gonna regret very shortly. Ooh, that's that's right. Dwarves are very crafty, so, huh, I like that. Mm. Oh gosh, this is gonna really screw things up, but I think this can work. Actually, I actually might just go How long have I been going for a while? Okay, what's this? That's the line of traffic trying to turn there. So let's make this a two lane. Dedicated turn lanes. This lane can go into any of these three lanes. That's right. Well, whenever this fixes itself, I think it'll actually be better. But for now, no luck. So, biggest issue here is traffic mixing. So this actually doesn't have that much traffic on it. So we're just gonna cut that off. Do that, right? Simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Sure, they're not going to be able to get to this water storage area, but they're going to get there anyways, so that's fine. Um, I think this is sorting itself out slowly, I think. Yeah. All right, here we have a problem. Looks like this truck's wanting to turn across many lanes. Yep, 
There it goes. But there's a line of traffic to turn. Oh gosh, to turn left there? Okay. We can fix that, All right? Just do that. So let's use traffic manager to fix this. So this lane can go boop. Oh wait, these are. Lane squish, but that's okay. Over here, we do this. Go boink, boink, boink. Perfect. It's just backwards. Might be backwards. I can't tell. But I think we're fixing our problems one at a time. Okay, so this traffic is moving better. Why is there industrial traffic on this road? Oh, uh, coming from that. Also, why are they out of water? No, we're just out of water. Okay. Um. Taking enough here, so we're struggling. Pollution sucks too. Any more water, and it's going to be dry. I guess I'll do some like giant water towers or something. Let's see. There. Is that enough? Oop. Oop. Yes. It would be kind of cool if you could have to manage like water pressure, like, hey, water pressure's over here, build a water tower. Okay, now you have to build a bigger main, go into that water tower in order to control water or whatever. I don't know. There's so much detail you could just fill this game in with. That's just not there. It's not really the dev's fault, it's just, I think it's the engine. I think the engine of this game Leaves a lot to be desired. This is a bad design, but you know what? It's fine. I mean, that'd be hilarious. You just like have just a massive water pipe going to somebody's house. I mean, it don't have to be like super detailed, but you know, you, you could have a, like, hey, if people's toilets are blowing up, you have to build a water hammer pressure reliever, which is actually a thing. And uh, you have to like put those in into strategic spots, like at the bottom of a hill, you know, water up here. You want to be able to leave some of that pressure that can build up. What is this crap? Let's fix this with, Brute force. Okay, not that brute. This brute force. Yes. My favorite kind. Look at that. Four lanes to turn. Two to go in and merge. That should help. The traffic over here is tame. That's beautiful. Minus this. Okay, I just need to attach this. What time is it? I might have to call a stream, Yeesh. but uh, Trinkle Ham on 
the gaming channel, I will try and put, if I can get my friends to play with me, I'll put some Vermintide 2 stuff up there. Um, after my move, I can reset up my painting stuff and probably start painting again with my dual camera setup. It's going to be more permanent and I can do it more regularly. We'll see. That's just a, just too much crap up in the air right now. Also, there's a lot of dead people. I see dead people. Oh yeah. Let's burninate some bodies. One there. One there. Some of those things up on here. So that's the mechanic of the game that I like. Yeah, I mean, my problem is I'm not I'm not consistent, and both Twitch and YouTube require you to be consistent, especially Twitch. I am the least consistent person with Twitch ever. I'm gonna try and fix that after my move. We'll see. But uh, yeah. Okay, what's this? What's just this? Come alone. Don't worry about it. Okay. How are we doing? 2,000, 3,000 in the bank, per, per week, whatever. Giant stupid junction right here. But I don't think there's any stoplights on it, so it should be okay. It's a really steep hill, geez. So the move it tool should just be part of the game. All right, not a problem, Trickle Ham. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for talking to me. I'll try and stream every Tuesday. Yeah, I think every Tuesday I can do that. So, anyways, see ya. Uh, I'll be uploading SimCity 4 video tonight, probably, and then this probably following it. So yeah, see ya. I'm gonna cut the stream too.